listening to 93.5, Laguna's only FM radio station. And we have, of course, the world-famous Wyland in the studio this morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Hey, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Uh, you know, Laguna Beach is only FM uh, radio station. I'm proudly supported. I hope everybody will. Uh, you guys do a great job. And, you know, I just live down the street, so this is like the easiest interview I've ever done. This is Thank an easy, you. This is an easy gig for you, no? Yeah, I went out and saw Nick. I was performing at uh, Mozambique last night. And if you haven't seen him on Friday night at Mozambique, you need to get down there. This guy's not <laughs> right. And that's uh, really his his name uh, by the whole band, the Blues Planet band, yeah. was he ain't right. And he's not. He's not. No, but he's, he's talented. And he's good He's the most talented, and he was the most valuable player on this entire uh, Wyland Blues Planet project that, that was recorded in New Orleans on the anniversary of the Gulf Oil spill. Yeah, that sounds great. We're going to get to that in a moment, too, by the way. All right, here we go. Hey, listen, I worked hard at trying to ask a good first question, Wyland. I'm over here. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm looking at Nick. He's like rolling over. I got to keep him entertained. So I want to talk a little bit here briefly. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, here's the, here's a softball yeah. question for okay. you. And I couldn't think of an easier question to ask. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite color and why? As an artist, what's your favorite color and why? You know, since I was three, four years old, uh, blue is my favorite color. I'm still in my blue period. I probably always will, you know, and uh, get it. Blue's planet, you know. I like blue. What can I say? And I do love the blues. And, you know, this music was easy for me because uh, blues music is is like a feeling. Right. You know, so what I did, and so is painting, by the way. So I painted uh, 60 songs, and we recorded uh, 48 of them in a row. 48. Everybody said, you can't even do, like, you know, one record in in five days. In five days, we recorded 48 original blues songs. That's amazing. Yeah, and all of it had the, you know, all the band all of us uh, united for for this great cause which is protect our blue planet you know the terrible things that we've been doing and and it really comes through in the music you can feel it yeah deeply you know i know like i mentioned before you're world famous there are people around the world that know you know your artwork and you know i've got this down you painted a hundred if i got this number right a hundred wailing walls yeah explain briefly just the wailing wall concept and how you sort of came up with that idea well, you know, I was painting whales on canvas. Uh, I had came out to Laguna Beach when I was 14 years old. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we did a little road trip out from Detroit, where I'm from. Yeah. And so we, we would be who? Uh, we, my three brothers and my mom. So okay. we came out here to visit my Aunt Linda, who lived out here. And uh, we went to Laguna Beach. I saw the Pacific Ocean for the very first time, 14-year-old artist. Uh, I, I dove in, and as I came up under a wave, two great whales actually spouted right in my face and barnacle encrusted back slowly moving across the surface and then these giant you know tails fluked up in front of me and ironically 10 years later 10 years later i painted those two whales on the side of the hotel laguna parking lot wall wow that i now own i actually now own that property (laughs) (laughs) it's weird you know but uh it's funny how things happen but that that made such an impression on me and that and uh, jacques cousteau was my hero we dedicated this blues planet record to jacques cousteau right and uh you know everything kind of came together you know i'm from detroit which is an unlikely place for a marine life artist but if you think about it surrounded by the great lakes i'm a water sign i'm a cancer crab you know for Uh all the crabs out there and Laguna is a, is a cancer sign, and it's an art colony. So I was drawn to Laguna Beach, painted that first mural, and Gordon Grant from the L.A. Times said, how many of these murals are you going to paint of whales? I said, 100. I could have said 10. I would have been done. <laughs> and I thought it would take 30 years, but it took me 27 years. So I actually was three years ahead of time and painted the last one in Beijing for the Green Olympics as the official U.S. Olympic artist. So that was it, quite an honor. How long does it take to paint one? Uh, till it's finished. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that can range from. Well, it can range from, say, you know, Long Beach. If yeah. you guys have seen the giant sure. mural I did in Long Beach on the arena there, that took six weeks and uh, uh, it took about uh, seven thousand gallons of paint. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I got here. They're in Hawaii, Japan, France, Australia, Canada, Mexico, New Zealand, Guam, Brazil, China. I, I tagged a lot of walls, you know. And uh, <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't take long. You know, when you work for free, you got to work fast. Sure. Uh, I tell the kids, you know, Nick, I and I work with a lot of kids, and I say, if they're paying you by the hour, slow down. Right. Take your time, man. In fact, make it a year or two years. But if it's free, knock that sucker out. But it should be noted, you, you, you've done them all for free. I did. I did 100 walls. It was my give back. And right now, you know, uh, I'm uh, um, 
I'm planning 100 monumental sculptures in 100 great cities in the world. Wow. Ten of those will be underwater, but monumental sculptures of all the great whale species and, and uh, freshwater animals as well, larger than life. And uh, we're going to pick uh, 100 cities in the world to have them. And That's 10 great. of them, by the way, will be underwater That's amazing. monuments that you have to swim and dive and snorkel through. And then they will attract coral, so the coral becomes part of the art. Beautiful. So I'm thinking as big as I can. That's another 20-year, 25-year uh, project. That one I can't do for free, unfortunately, because it's going to be very expensive. But, hey, art is uh, art is uh, really a gateway to, uh, t- for me to, to use to bring the conservation message, you know, uh, you know, art, conservation, community. And Good. Laguna has all those things. That's Agreed. why I live here. So, so my, back to my question, yep. though. As an artist, looking at the colors that you paint, yours right. is more of an idealistic view. Yeah, right, right. Did. I see a very positive view, but there may be a point when I'm going to paint some of the terrible things that are happening. I'm seeing... Imagine you know, the power of the art in, if you did that. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to... I have to go there now, but uh, I'm going to use uh, the power of art, as you say, to show some of the terrible things, which are... You know, climate change, uh, coral reefs dying, and I mean, as far as you can see, a graveyard of dead coral. Right. Uh, sharks being hunted to extinction, you know, right. due to shark fin soup. We wrote a song called Shark Fin Blues. Even the sharks got the blues. But the music, the art, uh, we're getting the message out there, and people are starting to take action. So it's very hopeful. I, I, I love to see that uh, we're actually accomplishing what we set out to do and laguna is is leading the way really very nice very, yeah you know forward thinking city on on environmentalism uh for a little radio business here yes. we're listening to you're listening to kx 93.5 laguna's only fm and wyland's in the studio i'm going to ask you about this last cd you've done three of these cds right. while you and i are talking I'm going to bring in Nick I, Nick Hernandez, if he's out there and listening, if he'd come yeah. in and get set up. How did you come up with the concept of a blues uh, CD series? I started writing these songs for a documentary film. Really, all this music was done for uh, a, a three-part series called Blues Planet. Mm. So I started thinking of people that I know. Taj Mahal actually was staying at my house, and I strategically laid out all these songs on the coffee table. And I came down in the morning, he grabs me, he says, when are we going to record this music? He goes, this is really amazing. You wrote this? I said, yep. So in two months, I wrote 60 original blues songs, and we went to New Orleans and recorded 48 of them in a row, most of them one take. And this guy wow. right here, Nick Guy, okay, who's from Laguna Beach, uh, just like me. Anyway, he said, I want to I wanna sing on your record and I hadn't thought of him right out of the gate but he assured me that blues was kind of his thing too and uh, according to his manager after this was re- you know we released this he said he's got about 50 to 100 more years of career as a blues singer so Nick how'd that go for you? Well, I was in a blues band when I was a kid in South Laguna right and so I'd sit in with them and when I was five and six years old and, and just sing the blues with them I just loved to sing and I was a show off a little guy and uh, I remember everyone clapping. I was going, "That's, I guess this is what I'm going to do, you know, when I grow up." So I've, I've always been doing that. I well, I got to tell you what he did. So to prove it, he garaged band twenty of these uh, forty-eight songs that we did. He garage band them, really worked when you say on. Garage band, are we talking the software I program? Mean, he, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. To prove it to me, and everyone <laughs> he did got like even better. Yeah. And so he did twenty of these. He co-wrote eleven of them. Wow. And he, uh, the, the entire band, all thirty-eight of us, uh, decided that he he was our vo- most valuable player in this Blues Planet project. So we appre- He made Taj Mahal cry huh? on this uh, reggae blues song called All Gone. Wow. And uh, it's the last song in the documentary film, but. Nick, go ahead. Well, he made me cry because he played banjo on it. And I was like, oh, my gosh, Taj Mahal's playing on a song I'm singing yeah. on, you know. And then yeah. he played in a few other songs. And yeah. He sang the song Dirty Oil that you and I did yeah. together. And it was just like everybody in the whole place. By the end of Dirty Oil, when he finished the last note, I saw a giant Hawaiian man run out of the room trying not to show everyone that he has tears in his Willie eyes. Willie K. Wow, Willie K. Yeah. And he's a mean guy. Like, I don't mean mean like a bad person. No, I mean, I mean like, he's a tough guy. Yeah. <laughs> and he came and like, I'm like, Hawaiian hey, what's style. up? He's like, he looked at me like, don't talk to me right now. I'm like, okay, no problem. Wow. Sir, you know, yeah. Yeah. Willie K is another one of my heroes, man. That That's guy, a, great wow. singer, great guitarist, great everything. It, it was a beautiful thing, and you know, uh, you know, I know all these players over the last 35 years. In fact, Rod Piazza, one of the greatest harmonica players in the world. Jimi Hendrix of the harmonica. Oh my God, he's on. Jimi Hendrix of the harmonica. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah, he yeah. played virtually on every single song. But, right. uh, he he's just uh, underrated to say the least. But so this this is an echo conscious music project. That's sort of how you exactly. define it. Exactly, you nailed it. 
the proceeds, they go out anywhere? Or 100% that- are going to go to the Wyland Foundation. If we ever get any, we need to get this out there and get some sales, and we're going to probably go out on tour with the Blues Planet Project next year, next summer. Hey, Nick, right. Wyland was saying that you sort of, he, you took his songs and sort of really sort of uh, bend, bend made them up. your own in some way. Did you find that? The lyrics and the because mel- you wrote the rel- melodies too, right? Yeah. Right. Well, we we did it as an entire band on the okay. spot. I did initially call them out, but uh, I I give credit to all thirty eight players. We really improvised, and uh, it was really uh, freestyle, as Nick likes to say. Yeah. And and but he, but he did he did send us. Um, his ideas, and he would sing the rhythms kind of on the tape. And yeah, stuff. you don't want you'll me never get that no. released. Don't no, worry. No, but, no, no, no. but it did give us great inspiration, <laughs> and it headed us in the direction of every song. That's yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we would huddle, and and Nick's a leader. Yeah, you know that's why he's the leader of Common Sense and ADD. He's a leader, and all these guys looked at me like, "Where did you find this guy?" Because nobody knew him for blues, right? <laughs> these guys are the masters. I mean, right. it's John Clary. It's Look at this! Uh, look at the lineup. Huge. And they go, "Who is this guy?" But the moment he did come home, or you know, I'm going to get my baby back, they looked at me and said, "Thank God you got Nick back. Yeah. He's the guy you want in front. He's like jumping around. He's and you know, we we brought this to the Doheny Blues Festival main stage. That was great. And we rocked it. Wow. Yeah. Well, so you've got your guitar with you, Nick, yeah. and we've asked you to come in and maybe perform one or two songs. I know it's early morning. You probably don't have your perfect. Pitch <laughs> you voice. can do it. Um, you want what song are you gonna play, and what's the kind of message of the song, or what's the backstory to the song? Okay, well I'd like to play uh, get get my get um come uh, get, my, get, get my, baby my baby back, back. get my baby back. Sorry. Okay, and and the song is the metaphor is get my baby back is get our get our ocean back, get our our, our wildlife back, get our clean wetlands back, and mm-hmm. all the things that that were destroyed in the in the Gulf disaster. Right. And so when we write these songs, the metaphors are all about that. And, and they're hidden in there. You know, personally, I think we hit them in, in a lot of ways because we want to make a record for music's sake, first and foremost. Because if you, if you try to, I feel like if you try to, to force a message on someone's throat, they're not going to get it. They're not going to try to listen to it. Yeah, So I just agree. make songs that, that we loved Yeah. and that underneath the underlying message is that of conservation and clean earth you know lyrics music by wyland and nick Eye and nick Eye, some yeah. of the songs yeah i mean he wrote you know the this majority one we're play? of this one's by us okay yeah yeah, yeah. The two, two amigos the two amigos nick so, all right and fight I promise I will always be good like a good man should well thank you 
Nick Guy. Beautiful. All right, hey, uh, Nick, you got another song in you? Sure. Uh, uh, what's, this, what's the backstory to this? What's it called? This song is called Come Home. Love it. Right, Tom? Yeah, I love Come uh, Home. Yeah, it's a great one. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, this is the first one. You know, we, we ran through all these so songs at the coach house. Gary was nice enough to yeah. give us the venue. Yeah. So we, we had the band in there, and we ran through it. And this was the first song we did. And it, here it is for everybody listening. Uh, very nice. We're listening to Nick I and Wyland off their new CD. And uh, you're listening to KX93.5 FM. Nick I, you're up, my friend. <laughs> It's time to get back home It's time to get back home Don't want to do no wrong My dad ain't here one told me And Papa told me, son Get yourself together Before the damage done but Papa, it's too late now The damage already seen Get yourself together, we're gonna make a scene. Well, it's time to get back home. It's time to get back home. Don't wanna do no wrong. That's a short version of that one. Wow. Yeah, we got it. Well, you know, and, and, and uh, you want to do we, Little Ocean Pearl? Yeah, check this one out. Really check fast. this out. You get, don't feel rushed, man. Okay. We got time here. Well, I know what I want, know what I'm seeing in this world. Well, I know what I want, know what I'm seeing in that girl. She my one desire. She's my Little Ocean Pearl. Well, she's looking at me, and I just won't stop. Well, she's looking at me, she just won't stop. She my one desire, she's my little ocean girl. She keep on giving me love, and she just won't stop. If she keep on giving me love, and head is gonna pop. She my one desire, she's my little ocean pearl. A nice little song. Right that was on. wonderful, man. Now, you don't want to hear this from me, but you got a lot of sex appeal with you and that guitar, and you start singing. It's amazing. Yeah. You Can really I tell do, it? Man. Let me ask you a question here. There's a very unique but yellow, uh, delicate connection between art, music, and marketing. Uh -huh. You know, because right. at the same time, you want to be an artist. You don't want to focus on the marketing, but you have to focus on the marketing right. in order to get your platform out there. Um, you seem to be able to balance that pretty well. Well, for me, you know, I wanted to do a hundred, uh, you know, public art projects, and I, I, I couldn't get any funding anywhere. So I just decided that if I'm really going to accomplish this this uh, goal, I, I had to be a successful artist. So you know, I just opened my first Wyland Galleries 35 years ago in the Canyon. Wow! And the rest is history. But uh, you know, work hard and great things happen. You know, work hard with integrity. Try to keep your eye on you know community and giving things back and you know uh, just you know just follow your dream my dream was to be successful enough to to do a hundred murals and now I'm gonna do a hundred sculptures but you know uh, I was an artist that was in the right place at the right time you know I heard the message of hey the first Earth Day Greenpeace Jacques Cousteau I feel like I'm very lucky so I it's a privilege for me to, to work with Nick on yeah by the way. So you know. thank you well <laughs> hey you know and it, it's all from Laguna Beach, man. Yeah. I was drawn here. Everything happens for a reason. But we as a community should support this radio station. Agreed. And all the great KX causes that, that we care about. But if Orange County pulled together, there's nothing we can't do together. 
Very nice. Has yeah. the art changed over the years, Wyland? You know, my art's evolved into, uh, you know, I used to paint uh, general whales, and uh, but, but I bring a lot of science in. I, I now paint whales that I see. And right now, I tell people, go to Dana Point, Newport, and get on one of these whale watch boats, I mean Ocean Institute, and go out and see one of the greatest animals on Earth, the blue whales. They're 90 feet long. They're 150 tons. And you can see them from shore. I can see them from my studio in Laguna Beach. They're spouting. They have a 30 foot spout a three-story spout that's how that's that's how they got Man. hunted almost to extinction they they can't really camouflage that they have to breathe air and it's three stories high but i oh, encourage everybody oh, to get yeah. get out there on the whale watch boat and yeah. then i'm part of uh you know the dana wharf with whale watch that teaches kids about whales and conservation do you think that all the effort all the resources the yep. the artwork the the albums the foundations do you see the results of your efforts you know i wouldn't wouldn't think that that could be measured if I hadn't done this for over 35 years. I have kids come to me and say, you know, I I became a marine biologist because of you. Oh, you know, wow. I went to Scripps. That's cool. And if you can get one kid to be the next Jacques Cousteau, the next Sylvia Earle, the next Taj Mahal, even Nick I, or why? Uh, then, then it's worth all that investment that you put out there. You know, and it all started for me mentoring young people. When I uh, was in first grade, my, my art teacher caught me drawing in the back of the class. I wasn't paying attention. She said, I need to see you after class, Mrs. Stevens. And after class, she sat down with me. I thought I was in trouble. And she said, you know, I'm an artist, Wyland. Let's draw together. So we drew for an hour. And my art teacher said, Wyland, you could be a great artist. Changed my life. She really wow. you know, kind of perked up a little. Yeah. And now when I see a group of kids, you know, I'll stop everything I'm doing. If I'm painting a mural, I'll come off the scaffolding and try to mentor those kids. And the proudest thing that the Wyland Foundation has done is we, we uh, immerse ourselves in these kids, you know, through the art and science and, uh, you know, really ensure them that uh, they, they matter and they can make a difference. Uh, you know, if you want to protect the environment today, talk to us. If you want to protect it for the future, you got to have the kids on board. you got to have them involved. Beautiful, man. Hey, Nick, I, you got one more in you yeah, that we can so. leave. And here's here's my thinking on this. Uh, we got cameras going on here. And uh, here's what I'm thinking. As he's playing Wylan in the back, yeah. I yeah. bought a board and dance. a blue pin. Want me to draw? I want you to draw Let's something for it. us here. Can you do that? Uh, and you can auction it off for the radio station. Uh, what's, the song, what's the song you want to play next, Nick? This song is called Dirty Oil, and uh, I'm not going to give it justice like, uh, like, like Taj. Taj Mahal. So right. I'll, do, I'll do my own version of it. It's a little different than Taj's version, but you got to hear Taj. Taj's version will bring tears to a man's eyes. Right. Well, I never will forget that dirty oil. Ain't gonna never forget that dirty oil. Ain't gonna never forget. Make my blood boil. Man, I'll never forget your dirty oil. Well, I never will forget that dirty oil. Well, I never will forget that dirty oil. Ain't gonna never forget what you destroy. Man, I'll never forget that dirty oil. Well, I ain't gonna never forget that burning platform. Lung began to burn, I can't breathe no more. Ain't gonna never forget Make my blood boil Man, I'll never forget the young dirty oil Well, we made it back to shore past the culprit holes Destroy our sacred water, but you still want more Ain't gonna never forget Make my blood boil Man, I'll never forget the young dirty oil well, I ain't gonna never forget that dirty oil Ain't gonna never forget that dirty oil Ain't gonna never forget Make my blood boil Man, I'll never forget the young dirty oil I said Man, I'll never forget the young dirty oil Woo! Hey. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice Nick Eye, Nick Eye. Beautiful. Off, <laughs> off, off the Blues Planet albums, one, two, and three, written by and produced by Wyland. Wyland's in the studio with Nick Guy. This is KX93.5. Wyland. Um, Scott. You know, 
<laughs> Good job. Great job, guys. I just so appreciate, first of all, I appreciate you coming in this early in the morning and, and Nick I performing some great, phenomenal blues songs. Thank you very much. Wyland, of course, I mean, just, you know, you know, I don't, I didn't know you until just this morning, my friend. I only knew of you. And uh, I can see your passion. I can see your devotion to the causes you're producing. And that's the sound of Wyland painting with a marker. <laughs> oh, sorry in the about background. that noise. It's a little screechy, <laughs> but uh, I drew a California gray whale tail flute for you. That's wonderful. That's so beautiful, man. This, uh, you did that in about this. four minutes, it's right? It's going on eBay right now. Yeah, going I got on eBay. Paid right by now. The hour. <laughs> Don't forget to sign it, by the way. Don't forget to sign it. Yeah, you'd laugh at the eBay. Uh, uh, my pizza guy brought me a box, you know, in Hawaii, and he said to Domino's guy, Will you sign a box for me? I'm a big fan. Goes on eBay, he sells it for 750 bucks. <laughs> You signed sign my guitar? Uh, hey, we, <laughs> I need a new one. Hey, guys, thank you again. Really <laughs> hey, appreciate mahalo, the time. Yeah, very nice. Wyland and Nick Eyes. This is the Friendship Show you've been listening to, KX93.5.